Now, as part of the installation of a new boiler at my house, I need to put a new soak away in. So this is our old condensing pipe, which doesn't comply now to the building regs. So I'm going to be putting a new soak away in. Also, this old soak away pipe isn't far enough away from the building. It needs to be at least 500 mil to the center of here. And I've made a mark on here where 500 mil is so I'm going to be putting it about there and I'm going to be running a new pipe here because I still need this to stay in for now until I sort out the new boiler so I need to dig out a new bit here to be able to fit this in now drainage comes somewhere along here as well which I don't know yet until I dig it up but I'm hoping it's not going to be here I'm hoping it's going to be around here somewhere so, I need to go and get my wellies on and get the spades and stuff and get digging so I can fit this new soapway in. Well, I found the drain pipe, it's right there. So hopefully I haven't got any more obstacles stopping me getting the soak away here. It looks like it'll just go down the side of it and be far enough away. Found the power cable now. So no wonder they didn't put the silk away, 500 away from there. But I think I can still expose it and squeeze it in between the electric, I think it's electric cable. The electric meter's just behind you there. So I think I can just squeeze it between the electric cable and this drain. Now, managed to get it all took out. Took some doing, but I found a couple of dodgy things. First of all, we just got the rogue electric cable here, feeding, I think it feeds the garage, and I think the main, I don't know, is it purple colored pipe? Is the one what comes in and brings the main power into the house, I think. But I saw this bit of blue plastic here, and I peeled it back. And there's a big split in the drain pipe. So I think they've tried to repair it. But uh, once I get this in, I'm gonna to have to expose all this and try and figure out a way how to repair that big split in there, because we can't leave that. So all I've got to do now is get the waste pipe up here and the condensate pro in. I need to core out here as well before I do anything but I need to put some limestone chippings in the bottom so the soak away actually sits on the limestone chippings and then I'm going to fill around here once I've got the waste pipe in with the rest of the limestone I've got a couple of bags of that and I've got a bit of sand to go over the top of that as well so uh, yep still got loads to do it's quarter to two and uh, hopefully the rain stays off and it's light enough for me to continue today. So, let's get on with it. Now, we're going to be coring through the wall with this core bit, and uh, this is the Condensate Pro, which is gonna go there. But you can see the wall isn't flat, it's pebble dashed. So Condensate Pro do this grinding head. So I can actually use that to grind this wall flat to allow that to sit flush with the seal on it. There's gonna be a sealing ring through there so we don't get any cold air penetrating so it doesn't freeze the pipe inside the cavity. Now, Condensate Pro also do this drift kit. So like if I was going to core out this here, 
this is quite a big hole so they give you the bits to go on the end of there and then that fits in the end of there and then you can core it through and it stabilizes it for you now I've done already a full video on the installation of Condensate Pro I will leave it in the description below so you can check out that video after you've watched this one so the first thing I need to do is drill a pilot hole through to make sure I'm not going to hit any pipes on the other side because I have measured it out using this as a guideline so uh, first of all I need to drill through with my 10 milli bit oh I'm going to have to use a pin drill first because it's too long Hopefully, I finally remembered to put my specs on <laughs> at the end. Hopefully now that's in the right place where I want it to be. So let's go around and have a look. Well, it's not exactly where I wanted it, <laughs> but it's not a million miles out. In fact, it's pretty damn perfect that where I want it. So uh, now I can core drill through and uh, get it ready for the, con the condensate pipe. So now drilled through with my pin drill. Hopefully this time I remember sex, which I do. I can now use the grinding head to make this flat. So that's made the wall lovely and flat now. So all I need to do now is go through with the core bit. where my original hole was <laughs> but oh look at that is that an electric kit oh no it's been moved from there but just move that side of that but oh if that had had a cable in there which it hasn't but there you go so that were lucky but perfect spot for me for the new boiler so it's in this part anyway i just got to make up this bit it's three o'clock it's gonna go dark soon so I need to get on with it. Now in the soak away, you get this little blanking cap. So that fits in the top if you're not using the top or it fits in the side if you're using the side. And we're using the side. Also, I'm gonna to need to cut this first ring off here to allow the 32 mil to go in and then it'll push through there. So now that's cut and slipped on, that will just go onto there. And it's sealed now, bottom and top, ready for going in. So that's the dry fit. All I gotta do now is get the legging on it and glue it up. To cut the legging, I use my Pipe Lagger Pro. Again, I've done a full video on how to use the Pipe Lagger Pro, and I will leave a link in the description below. Once you have cut the lagging, you'll need to join it together with this seal and bond which Condensate Pro supply in all their packs. So once you've made the joints, you just fill them in with the rest of the cement and the cement just goes in a standard silicone gun. So that's complete, 
but I am just now going to cover this in PVC tape to give it a bit more protection when it's under the ground. Now that's the pipe finished, all lagged up. Now I've taped it up. All I've got to do now is fill this big hole up with the 10 mil limestone chippings for the soak away. Now that's all the limestone chippings done and the hole filled in and just in time because it's now 10 past four and that'll do for the day. So that's the soak away in.